I've actually got a, a good friend actually who does the same thing and he goes around kids' parties. Well, I can Johnny. just interrupt you there, sure, Jason, sure. and we'll probably get back to you soon, Freddie. I think we're going to have a look at a bit of speed cooking. Fantastic. Oh, we're going to do a cheesy souffle, a double souffle, if you like, today. It's a French dish. We're going to be doing a few jus and also some chicken towards the end. Um, let's waste no more time. We're going to do this as quick as we can. See you at the end. First thing we're going to do, though, get the blender going. Probably easier to stand in the there. Cut about a quarter of the milk in that. Break it out then. Just kind of whack it in there. And just another half. That's no good to me. That's real horses for courses kind of stuff. Don't know where that came from. You need some tomatoes, a bit of spicy tomato kind of jus going on here. I like to use these nice citric tomatoes. It's always nice to pepper them if you can. Just pepper them lightly. Bit on each and go in your first shoe. Wrap it on there. Look good to me. Okay, now what you gonna try and do? Oh, no, good to me. All right, time to get a bit of bacon in the shoes. It's Hallis bacon, of course. First time we're gonna use the fry pan. You whack it on there and an iron. Whack it on there. Now it's time for our chicken. Bin number five. And a lot of people often ask, do I use green-fed chicken or do I use corn-fed chicken? Neither, really. What I tend to do, I get the corn, I try and stuff it in there, feed it to them later. Um, a lot easier, you've got the choice then. Sometimes I get a bit of a, bit of a jaw, they get some holes in there and helps them really to base back with the first shoe. Uh, no good to me. Thank That's the pasta head earlier. No good to me. Um, probably gonna... No good to me. Uh, we need something for this shoe. Back in there. You have to use about half a cup of old oats. And you've got nothing to measure that, you can probably use the equipment of a uh, small child, small shoe. Put it in there, back in there, put another one just in case. Fantastic. Um, whack that jew in the other bowl. Oh, it's got holes in it, that's how it gets me. Um, I've been trying to get some mushroom sauce in there. Um, love these new rip tops. Good cutting boards you can actually use for cutting. That will come out of there, nice and good, that's how it gets me. Whack that down there. You need spaghetti. Slice it away from it if you can. It's all about speed. A bit more of that in there. Um, need a cheese sauce. I don't normally do it. Whack some cheese out of there. Doesn't matter if it's even, colby or tasty. It's all going to end up tasty there. You whack it there. That's probably another good job for the cheese eater. Uh, to make a really good souffle, you really need eggs. Whites with six egg yolks in your second shoe. Don't need that handle on there. So good. Stir it around if you can like that. Once those whites and those yolks mix, you want to try and separate them again if you can. Get the whites back out in there with your muesli. Get another load there. Well, one, two, three, four. Take another one in there. All well, the bender's getting used. What I normally do to get the forky bender around like that, you've got yourself a bit of a blender. Mix that too, mix that too, mix that too. You can't mix these juice too much. Great. Time to cook the chicken, it's time to cook it. What I normally do, put a bit of fire. You really got to get in there. You can really see the colour coming through there, the browning of the skin. That's what people love. It's hot, chuck it in there for a bit, pull it down. Okay, we're going to make another jus now. We need a pot about the same size as a, your, your, your standard wall pot. It'll probably do it. No good to me. Perfect. Okay, use this jus. Put it in there. The original spaghetti from the, from the sauce. And then mix that in. A bit of flour in there for taste. No good to me. Okay, check that. Beautiful. Um, Find the basic trick and whack it in there. Probably easier to just drag this over here. Pretty much get everything else back in there. Whack it in there. Spin around. You whack the chicken in there. Take the eggs. Your first shoe, not your second shoe. You normally try and do. Get your hand drill. You mix that in there. Really brings the thickness out. Whack it in there. Give it a bit of shake. Put it in the blender. It gets it really. Gets it mixed up there. Back it back on about a thousand. Probably need to thicken that cheese sauce. Best way to do it is just make some cheese in there. Okay. Finally, squeeze the juice from a fresh rabbit to make a fresh rabbit jus. Looks like we're just about ready here. There you go. Double cheese souffle with frittatas with infused chicken. 
and salad. It's so easy when you know how. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, there you go. Just goes to show that you need to break a few eggs to make a large um, souffle like that. But. Um... <laughs>